So the roads on this Thanksgiving Eve are already busy. Many are trying to beat the impending cold as well as get to their loved ones, but some are encountering that snow that Bruce is talking they certainly about. Certainly are. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is traveling on I-91 tonight. He's live in the weather tracker. And Matthew, where are you? Well, Dennis and Denise, we're here in the Windsor area right now, and the story of the night is volume and also the snow that Bruce was talking about. Go ahead and take a look at it right now. This is what we are seeing here in the weather tracker. The roads, they're already starting to get wet as the squalls are still coming through. They started about a half hour ago in the Windsor Locks area. They are brief, but they are powerful. Wind really blowing this snow, making it tough to see, and it is not helping the traffic situation. We're probably going around 40 miles an hour right now. I would say that's the average speed here on 91. Now, this is not like the nightmare in Los Angeles where it's brake lights as far as the eye can see. There's definitely a lot of cars out here contribute, contributing to uh, one of the busiest Thanksgiving we've seen in more than a decade. AAA says uh, two and a half million New Englanders are going to be hitting the road to travel more than 50 miles this holiday weekend, and that is the highest since 2005. So you can see if you're packing up your car right now, planning to head out anytime soon, you're going to have a lot of company. 91 slow in the usual spots. The off ramp to 84, the downtown Hartford area, and then here in Windsor. And it is expected to stay this way throughout the night and will only be made worse if these snow squalls are coming your way. So if you're planning on topping off the gas tank before you head out, expect to play, uh, ex expect to pay close to $3 a gallon in Connecticut. It's $2.54 in Western Mass and above $3 in New York. Take a listen. We are seeing the highest gas prices that we've seen since 2014. That said, gas prices have started to drop over the past month or so, and we certainly hope that that trend will continue through the Thanksgiving holiday. So that's something that's positive for those who are planning to hit the road. So again, back live here on 91, snow squalls still passing through, especially north of the city. And we are making our way up to Enfield right now. So we're going to check on what it looks like there in the next half hour. But for now, that's the latest live here in the Weather Tracker. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.